Hello everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. I've got some ideas for how to start enjoying your own company during these quiet evenings in the winter when we're at home. A lot of women in our 60 and Me community do live alone and I'm one of them. And so I really do look for opportunities when you know, the weather gets a bit cooler, maybe you're spending more time inside to not go the path of feeling lonely and, and by yourself and you know not connected to the world, but just to do things that are really fun and give you pleasure and joy. And I'd love your ideas if you've got any the things that you do during these months uh, to you know, cheer everybody up and get them inspired. I think I've got about 30 things here that you can uh, and try and uh, many of them um, are favorites of mine. So um, the cool dark weather at home is, you know, can be challenging. It's like five o'clock in the evening now. It's it's getting really dark. And um, you know, even with my little glow sticks, I'm, I'm still I'm still in the dark. But, you know, you can also also do lots of things that um, at least one of our, uh, Christian, one of our bloggers wrote, writes about. And some of them are very obvious obvious and simple, like keeping a journal, you know, just get that book out, maybe make a book, you know, just start a scrapbook and start writing a thought a day, putting a picture in there, you know, cutting something out from a magazine, just, to, you know, just creating your story of my winter of 20, 22, 23. <laughs> but, you know, work through your, um, your things that are on your mind, you know, the things that you're challenged with or the things that you want to do, put them down in writing, you know, use this time to kind of pull the year together and start thinking about all the really positive things that you did in your life and, and the, the challenges and what you overcame, what you achieved, what you learned and you know, how you're going to move into the new year with that kind of energy. I think one thing uh, that she talks, um, at least talks about, which is very, very true, is that we often think that, you know, being alone is a negative thing. And, you know, society kind of tells us that, you know, if you're by yourself, you've, you don't have any, a partner or you don't have a husband or whatever, you, you somehow that you've done something wrong. It's a, it's a negative. But in in a way, I think it's the opposite. I think it's a sign of a courageous person who can, you know, find that time with themselves as, as a positive thing. That's something that's not really going to uh, push them down, but it's going to uplift them and 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 um, and free them. And it gives you a way to realize how much you really don't depend on other people's, you know, re uh, judgment or comments or approval to be happy. That you are a complete person by yourself <laughs> you are in your world and that's okay it's it's like you know you, you you learn to trust yourself and your own ideas and your own um you know uh, strengths and weaknesses you also learn to, about yourself through self-reflection and so there's a few things i'll talk about in a minute in this long long list that i've got for you to consider um you know that can really help you to kind of pull it all together and use it as a time of self-reflection and uh, analysis and, you know, and do some exploration. What are you good at? What do you love to do? What are your skills and your talents? And even if you don't think you have any, <laughs> you do. And um, we live in an amazing world right now in terms of, um, you know, t technology and uh, learning, because basically there's nothing, there's nothing that you could not learn how to do. If you wanted to do anything, stained glass, you want to learn how to be, you know, um, a poet, you want to learn how to become, a, you know, a good chef, everything is possible online. Now you can take the time. And so I guess the first thing you need is internet, but it doesn't, that isn't even necessary. Even if the lights all go out and there's no internet, you can still do some of these things. Um, just be being you by yourself. So be brave. Be brave, be courageous, and see um, this opportunity that you have as, as you're in your own little world there, in your own little house, to actually start to live. So what are some of the things you can do? And I actually had fun putting this list together because I do a lot of them myself and I and I am a you know I live by myself so I even throughout the year when it's bright outside I actually still do some of these. So try them at, you know, one at a time, all at once, and <laughs> several at, at, at a go. And the first thing, of course, is go out and watch a movie. Go out to a movie or go to a cafe or a little restaurant and just have a meal by yourself. It's okay. You don't need to have someone there with you talking to you. You can just take a book or just a notepad to take down some notes. You don't have to, you know, be doing anything if you're going to the cafe. If you're going to the movie, just enjoy the movie. But there's all kinds of things you can do. Theater, productions, uh, comedy shows. Um, there are workshops. And of course, Meetup. I didn't actually put that on the list, but I just thought about it. You know, Meetup has all kinds of um, things going on where you can join clubs, join workshops and uh, get out of your house. So if you don't want to be alone in your house, that's the thing to do. Get out, <laughs> go out, you know, you go to a movie, go to a restaurant, do something fun. Watch movies with a theme is another thing. Of course, you can bring the movie theater into your home. And if you say, I'm going to watch all the 
you know, you can binge watch Grace and, Th and Frankie, or you can watch, you know, any of the wonderful things that are online these days in terms of, um, you know, series and documentaries. And there's just a lot of very interesting stuff. Don't um, fall into the trap of watching the same thing every day, you know, getting into this, or well, you can if you want to, but um, I think the more we, we can use this kind of quiet time when there's nothing much going on outside or it's cold and snowy or cold and rainy or windy um make some fun food for yourself i've got to, i've got here hot chocolate with marshmallows <laughs> Yes. Um, do, do things like, uh, you know, just find a good recipe and, and just have a go at it. I learned uh, the other day how to make bread with two ingredients, flour and yogurt. And you can make this really cool flatbread with it. And it, the recipe is everywhere. It's not, not a big secret. Everyone knows about this recipe, I think, except for me. And um, you just have just make something fun to eat. Make some cookies or learn how to make something that's healthy and low calorie or you know, just healthy foods, but food, foods, this is a big time of the year for food. Rearrange your books, alphabetize them, if you want to be very specific, or declutter, you know, declutter things that you are just being overloaded by. Um, take an online class. There is um, uh, Airbnb and also in, there's several of them where you can actually pay like $10 or some amount if you've got a little extra cash to actually go and experience a class. I did a, I did a cooking class with a teacher in India and there were 12 other people from all around the world with me. It was so much fun. Um, try a new recipe, listen to podcasts, there's some very cool podcasts starting. I'm even thinking I should start a podcast series because everybody seems to be doing it these days. And it's, I mean, by the way, that's a good question for you. Do you guys want podcasts from 60 and me? Like not video, but listening, listening to me talk about things, <laughs> about aging. Anyway, if you are, let me know in the comments section because I, I have no idea whether it's something we thought about doing this years ago, but um, it just seems to be very popular now. Anywho, um, online window shopping, of course. Uh, do a puzzle. It's a good idea. Start a scrapbook I mentioned. Um, donate things, um, you know, sort of things that you're going to donate, discard, reuse, give away. Um, of course, you can do things like take a bubble bath or just pamper yourself in any way that you feel appropriate. Facial, bubbles, just you know, just don't even feel guilty about it. Just do it. Just jump in and, and have a lovely relaxing bath. Um, watch a TED Talk. I have tons of TED Talk ideas. Um, plan a road trip for when the spring comes and you're feeling like getting out again. Um, this is an idea that I think is really cool and that's just send an email to someone. Like a, just a, like a thinking about you, sending lots of love, um, just a simple you know, connection email. And if you um, feel um, up for it and want to even take it further, just call somebody. Pick up the phone, the mobile device. <laughs> and just call somebody, uh, call a friend. Uh, another thing you can do is to join a travel group. And um, I know that, for example, we have you know, some little travel things that we're planning on with 60 and Me, and we have private Facebook groups, and you can join uh, those to just, just join other women that are traveling, even throughout the winter. People are going places, doing things. You can support them, chat online, but Facebook and other channels are great for that. Um, start a hobby. If you don't know how to do certain things, crochet, knit, sew, paint, whatever, just try it. Um, go online for fun experiences I talked about. Of course, you can join 60 and Me channels. You can watch my videos here. I'm by your side all through the winter months and cold days and warm nights and whatever. We're here. Um, so you can join our Patreon supporters group, which is a really nice uh, group of women. We meet, uh, we do live shows uh, twice a week. And also um, we just, you know, people are getting together like actually in real life or in, if you're you know, by yourself, they can you know, connect online. It's really, really cool. It's our Patreon supporters group, group P-A-T-R-E-O-N, Patreon. Um, you can sell stuff online. If you are into Poshmark or Etsy or eBay, there's all kinds of little shops you can open. And I've got another whole video coming on Etsy. I'm just so uh, embracing Etsy as a shop. I've always known about it, but it's such a lovely place to go and hang out and, and watch what other people are doing. It's so, so fun to see creative people at work. Um, another thing is to take a personality test. 
I always thought this was really interesting. You can go online. You can also do tarot online. You can do, I mean, lots of cool little projects. And of course you have to be online, but you know, there's still things to do if you're uh, by yourself and you can enjoy your own company. You don't need to have tons of people around you. Just enjoy you, enjoy your own self. So do you enjoy your own company? I have a feeling there's going to be a resounding yes to that. I don't think I've met too many women in our 60 and Me community who don't like spending time alone. I know that there are some who are lonely and hopefully if you're feeling by yourself, some of these ideas have helped you to get moving in a positive direction. But if not, um, you know, just give me some of your thoughts, some of your ideas, things you do. Take really good care, everybody. I'm sending you lots of love and uh, you know, just a desire and hope that you can start enjoying your own company and be relaxed and happy during the winter months. And uh, just give us your feedback on how you keep amused. Sending you lots of love, everybody. Take good care. Bye for now.